tutorial goes through one example based on what we have learned so far. So using variables and the numeric operator. Okay, this exercise refers to um, area and parameter of a rectangle. Uh, there are two outputs, area and parameter of a rectangle. And uh, two inputs, width and the heights with the test data set and the two given formulas. Okay, let's create one project. This time with our default main class, I will create my own. So I will create one class called Rectangle App. You can name anything, but do something more meaningful to you. So I will copy example. Keep it in uh, multi-line comments. By convention, I like to keep star in front of uh, each line. Unfold my username. So here, so we are talking about rectangle. The first one reporting to width and height. The height, um, test data is 8. So if you calculate it, um, that is area equal to width and multiplied by height. Okay, and repost the given formula. So the area is 40. Okay, let's look at a um, parameter of a rectangle. We are looking at two heights and two widths. So formula is parameter width size multiple by twice so what we are looking at is to multiply by 5 plus 8 13 by 2 so 26 Okay, black area reports to area. Okay, red color reports to parameter of a rectangle. So let's go back to uh, programming. So you need at least one main method. Opening and closing in the program design 101 input process output components
So I will consider his uh, width as an integer value because it looks like integer. Height, eight integer. Process here um, area is width multiplied by height. Again, um, there's a new variable called area. So if we don't declare, it's going to complain. So integer, area, and the parameter to multiply by width plus height. Output using standard output device. Sometimes power shows up. Uh, uh, that means that means try to give you list of method belongs to that particular output device. Try to type it by yourself at the beginning. Okay, that will be good exercise. Okay, when you learn your program, uh, it may complain at the beginning. So what you need to do is clean and build your project. Then you should be able to learn your project. See, now you will have one rectangle lapse with the main method will appear. So 40, 26, that's correct. OK, let's see um, whether we can use uh, floating points, 5.0, 8.0. In this case, double data type is the best one. So if you change the double input, you need to have a double output for area and parameter. Everything remains the same. School ID to clean and build means you remove existing uh, byte code and compile your source code, and then you can learn it. See, um, 40 and 26 with the decimal points. That's correct. Here's a usual case, say uh, 10, 2, so area should be 20, and then 24 for parameter. But it doesn't show, isn't it? So what I did was uh, I did not clean uh, and build. It means I say I just learn same uh, byte code. So whenever you make a changes, it's good idea to at least clean and build, or you have to compile your source code to make sure you update your byte code. Byte code refers to Java executable code. Okay, that's all. Thank you.